Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to make a timer using the tween class. Uh, it sounds a little odd isn't it, it sounds a little unbelievable that uh, not using a t the timer class, not using the enter frame event we are still able to manufacture a timer which simply uses the, the uh, tween class. Yes, guys, that's that's true. Uh, in fact, before I dive deeper uh, and uh, explain things, the modus operandi, I would like to show you a publish preview by hitting Control Enter on my keyboard. So here goes Control Enter, and uh, you see this is the body of the clock, and which has three needles: the seconds hand, the minutes hand, and the hour hand. And we have a start and a stop button out here. So let me fire the timer. Okay, it's not a clock, uh, strictly speaking, people. It's a timer, and uh, the best part about the timer is that there is no jerky motion of the second uh, seconds hand. Uh, you can see that's one smooth continuous motion. It's not like that tick, tick, jerky uh, action or motion. It's one smooth, simple transition. So as the uh, second uh, seconds hand does uh, one uh, complete 360 degrees, it's as smooth as can be. All right. You may have uh, you know seen certain clocks where the needle is just like one smooth motion without that jerky tick 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 uh, motion. Right. So uh, that's that's one thing very cool about it. So here on the screen you can see the seconds hand advancing along with the minutes hand and uh, there's a subtle change in the hour hand as well, right? So we have done a complete 360 degrees out here, okay? So, so actually this is not a clock, it's a timer people that has been fired uh, using only the twin class. That's, that's simply amazing, isn't it? So let me hit the stop button. Okay, very, very cool. Now, if I click the start button again, it's going to be reset. All the three needles are going to start from scratch. Right. So let's see how <laughs> this was created using only the, um, the tween class. Now, before I, I take you inside the actions panel and the action script, which is uh, barely 28 lines. Right. Okay, uh, I would first uh, like to explain or, or show you what exactly is there on the stage. What is there inside the library? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's the way I've been operating since a long time. I don't like to uh, reconstruct everything from scratch. Uh, I would show you the library, the assets inside the library. I would uh, explain the timeline, the layers, the frames etc but I'm not gonna you know destroy the gallery or I'm gonna do it from scratch so I'm just gonna show you uh, and tell you verbatim how this was actually constructed okay people uh, it's very very simple actually we have one two three and four layers out here the topmost layer as always belongs to the script and that is the reason uh, I've called it the script some people like to call it action, some people like to call it AS3, some people like to call it AS. I have kept the name of this layer as the script, right? Which is hosting uh, the 28 lines of action script. Cool. Now, the second layer, people, belongs to the three needles. If I uh, hide it for you, you can see the three needles which were showing up out here. Uh, have actually hidden themselves. So we have the R needle, the minute needle, and the seconds needle. They all have different thickness and different colors and obviously different instance names. If I take you inside the actions panel, you can notice that they have instance names of uh, sec for seconds hand, min for minutes hand, and HR for the R hand. Cool. So the third layer has the start and the stop button people see if I had it for you these two buttons disappear okay where did I get these buttons from and how did I label them it's very simple go out here from the components pull out the button which is under the user interface folder and if you want to label them again that's very simple select the button uh, select the button like so 
and uh, just go to label out here change the label to whatever name you would like to have cool okay and the bottommost layer is actually nothing but the decoration which is the body of the clock okay other than that, then uh, the aesthetics of the decoration it doesn't have any other purpose except you know just showing you that this is 12 this is 6 this is 9 and this is 3 so you get an idea how much the timer has actually elapsed so um, that's all that we have as uh, far as the uh, far as the timeline is concerned we just have one single frame out here now let's uh, dive inside the library and see okay so this is the button component people this is the body of the clock right um, this is the R needle the minute needle and the second needle that we had already discussed right and that's uh, that's all that we have as far as assets are concerned for this uh, project okay uh, which means that the only thing that is left for me to show you is the actions panel and how it makes this uh, timer workable or functional so let's open up the actions panel for you people select this uh, frame open up the actions panel right now uh, I've not used the timer class just as I said so it's really amazing that without using the timer class I've actually constructed a timer okay I've used the tween class people so I've in, in the first four lines I've used the import directive to import the requisite classes now what are classes classes are but blueprints call them templates um, call them uh, building blocks so call them whatever you want so you need to have these classes imported before the code here at the bottom will function correctly all right so just using these four import directives all right now after what I've done is I've added an event listener to the start button where's the start button this is the start button this out here and uh, once somebody clicks the button I would want the start timer function to fire so in line number seven I've described the start function uh, function okay uh, so when somebody clicks the button I would want three tweens to happen now the the tween class does it just mean that you can take uh, an object from one position to the other uh, or basically just uh, affect the uh, object along the x-axis that's not true you can tween any property you can tween the x property the y property the alpha property and uh, the scale x property the scale y property uh, the width uh, the height and even the rotation property okay so in this example what we are doing is we are affecting the rotation of the three needles these three needles now all these three needles have a registration point which is bottom and center okay all the three needles now give me a sec so um, I've declared a variable my tween sec for seconds data typed it to tween and made it equal to a new tween so basically creating a new instance of the tween class and then I've passed in certain parameters now the first argument is the object that we are tweeting the is the seconds hand or the seconds needle and it has an instance name of sec okay the property that we are affecting is rotation for the seconds hand the easing is none so there's no easing at all we don't want it to uh, go at a variable rate okay we are making sure that we are rotating the seconds hand needle from 0 to 360 basically one complete circle in one complete circle we have 360 degrees and doing it over 60 seconds we know the seconds needle completes one full circle or does a complete 360 degrees over 60 seconds 60 true means 60 seconds 60 false means 60 frames but we are not working with frames out here we are working with seconds so in 60 seconds I would want the seconds needle to rotate by 360 degrees okay so sec is the instance name of the longest needle okay as you can see out here it's called sec for seconds 
Okay, so 360 degrees in 60 seconds. Similarly, I've attached, uh, I'm using the tween class and rotating the min. Now, min is the minutes needle. Through the rotation property, without applying any ease, I'm rotating it 360 degrees as well. But the time frame has uh, gone up by 60 times simply because for a minute to complete 360 degrees it takes 60 into 60 seconds because the minute needle is 60 times slower than the uh, seconds needle so it will take up 60 times more time to complete 360 degrees very simple logic people so the second needles is 60 times faster than the minute needle conversely means the minute needle is 60 times 60 times slower than the seconds needle cool okay similarly i've declared a variable uh, my tween r data type it to tween is equal to new tween so basically creating a new instance of the tween class then i'm affecting the object of the movie clip HR which is the R needle the instance name of the R needle is HR and uh, through the rotation property I'm making sure that it does a complete 360 degrees so from 0 to 360 degrees but this time the pay a little attention people the R needle is 12 times slower than the minute needle so conversely it will take more time to complete 360 degrees which will be equal to 60 into 60 into 12 okay so this took only 60 seconds this took uh, 60 into 60 but this is going to take 60 into 60 into 12 because the R hand is 12 times slower than the minute needle the minute needle is uh, 60 times slower than the seconds needle so only 60 seconds uh, 60 into 60 seconds and 60 into 60 into 12 seconds to do a complete 360 degrees or one complete circle so in a nutshell we know the relationship between uh, the minute the R and the seconds needle so seconds is 60 times faster than the minute which is 12 times faster than the R needle right so using that relationship I've, I've used the formula out here so it's very simple people use the rotation property tween the rotation from 0 to 360 in a specific time interval which again depends on the relationship of the three needles different speeds okay cool so n what's going to happen is if, if, if I'm going to just fire the function all the needles are going to do a complete 360 degrees and going to come to a stop so one full circle of the seconds needle one full circle of the minutes needle and one full circle of the R needle and the needles freeze so how do I make sure that they go on and on and on forever and never stop now that's very simple what I've done is I've added event listeners to my tween sec my tween min and my tween R variables okay as you can notice out here and I'm saying in case the motion finishes which is surely gonna finish after it does one complete circle I would want a function on finish to fire for all the three needles once they do a complete 360 degrees they're gonna freeze and let's see what the on finish function actually does uh, which is written out here in line number 26 uh, event dot target dot start so once it stops start it again event dot target is either my tween sec my tween min or my tween r hr right so i would want the tweening to restart again so it does 360 degrees it stops but the moment it stops motion finish event gets triggered and it starts again so um, in effect it never stops and it's a continuous loop right also i've added an event listener to the stop btn which is this one okay and what happens when somebody clicks that so using the mouse event dot click I would want a function stop timer to work or fire or execute and inside which I've used the stop method so my tween sec my tween min and my tween r dot stop method 
which will make sure all the needles freeze. So that's all the three needles will stop instantaneously once the stop button is clicked upon. Okay. So it's as I said, it's a very short script, people. Just 28 lines with a lot of blank lines out here. And uh, in case you you know despite my explanation which I think was a decent one uh, if despite that uh, you, you still can't make make heads or tails of the action script uh, so what you can do is there's uh, a good news for you you can log on to my website which is http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one just go to this URL people and uh, download the whole project the flower file you, you can get the flower file with all the assets everything the timeline the library assets and the action script basically the flower file the flash file you can uh, download it from there and uh, use it so people I hope you learned something new today maybe you never imagined that we could uh, create a timer just using the tween class but as you can see we can alright so before I terminate let me export the swift by hitting control enter let's test the movie it fires just the way I want it cool so I hope uh, you'll keep coming back for more people please uh, subscribe if you like the tutorial please comment uh, a positive comment uh, you know does wonders for us so you have a good day guys bye bye peace